Hi, Cooper. This is Sun's babysitter. Sun is doing great, but I was hoping you could let me know how you want me to handle his mother. You should not have to worry about his mother at all. She will not be picking up or dropping off. Oh, I know, but seeing as she lives across the street from me, I am hoping that will not cause issues. I had Sun outside in the front yard today, and she came over to see him. I told her I couldn't let her in the yard without permission from you, though. I am so sorry. I had no idea she lived there. She was living somewhere else recently, and no one knew she moved. Her mother knows she was at her house with her, but from now on, I will only have Sun play in the back just to prevent any issues. Thank you so much for letting me know. Is there a reason you didn't inform me that Bianca now lives directly across the street from the babysitter? You don't think after how she tried to kidnap daughter that this might be a safety risk? I am so sorry. I never meant to cause issues. I know that you like that sitter and I didn't want you to feel like you had to pull Sun. That is no excuse. Sun's safety is worth more than any inconvenience of finding a different sitter if I chose to go that route. Hiding it from me only puts him in danger without anyone knowing. Bianca has learned her lesson from the event with daughter. She poses no risk to Sun by staying across the street. That is not up for you to decide. As Sun's father, I have the right to decide if I feel as though he is safe. I understand you are his grandmother, but I am his father. I feel as though you are making this bigger than it needs to be. Hi Cooper, just checking in that it is still on for us to pick up Sun this Sunday to have a sleepover and bring him to daycare Monday. Hi, unfortunately we have plans for this weekend and next. We can discuss arranging something for the following weekend though and can all get together. Cooper, I do not want to fight with you. I am in tears that you are being like this. Sun is our grandson and needs to have a normal relationship with us, especially because his sister lives here. I am sorry I didn't tell you about Bianca. Honestly, with her bouncing around, she barely lived there anyways. I want us all to do what is best for Sun, but apparently you have a secret agenda. We need to move past this for the kids. I am sorry things have come to this point as well. There is no secret agenda, as at no point have I ever withheld vital information that keeps Sun safe. At no point have I refused you having contact with Sun, but at the moment I am concerned that you may be withholding more information that you deem as unimportant in order to protect Bianca. I do hope we are able to work together to allow the children visits together though. I hope so to Cooper, I will not throw insults and accusations back and forth with you though. Everyone has played a part in this, even you. So let's just think of the kids. We want a standing arrangement to get Sun for visits every other weekend. Sun has only stayed with you for a few months. He lived primarily with us for the rest of his life. So don't start getting nasty with me. If we need to go the legal route, we can. I have no issues with going through the court. That will be in the best interest of everyone involved. Thank you for your understanding. Can I come and see Sun for Easter and give him his Easter basket? I won't take up too much time. Of course, what time do you think you will be here? Hello, please let me know what time you will be here. I will have to come tomorrow. I am so devastated I can't get a lift. I missed the bus. There isn't another bus coming. I'll just have to come see him tomorrow. This is just a fuck around. The bus pulled off as I was walking up, and it will be too late in the afternoon by the time the next bus comes. The next bus says it's in 30 minutes. Maybe your mom could give you a ride if you don't want to wait. Nobody wants to help me. I feel like I'm a living myself because I am the worst mom ever. I'll find a way to get there tomorrow. 
even if I have to walk. Please let me FaceTime son tonight when you have time. I'm sorry for my actions, Cooper. I am so used to being the parent to both kids that I overstepped and didn't consider you in the equation. I hope that we can move past this and continue to work together. I understand, but I hope you understand that I am not comfortable with son being around Bianco without me there as well, at least until we have an order. I understand completely. Speaking on that, I'm sure you are aware that Mother's Day is coming up, and I was hoping you and son would come over and spend the day with us. We are inviting Bianca as well. As long as she is sober, we will happily be there. She's always going to be his mother, and I have no problem with her being around for Mother's Day, but she has to be sober. Of course, I understand and agree. Thank you for working with me. Hey Bianca, I just spoke to your mom and we are planning a Mother's Day get-together. We will be at her house from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Hope to see you there. Thank you for that, but no thank you. I am still very, very devastated that even on Mother's Day, I don't get to have my son when I want and I don't get a say. He doesn't have anyone else as his mother except for me. So what else would you be doing on Mother's Day besides celebrating with me? There's no reason to be devastated. We planned this to ensure that you got to celebrate with both children. That's not Mother's Day. That's three hours I've been dreaming about for the last couple of weeks. All I want is to wake up with my kids and snuggle with them in bed and have good quality time. Why can't I have that? You both don't actually care if I get to see the kids. You want to get rid of me. Hey man, it's good to see you. I've been wanting to get up with you about something I saw online. Oh, what is it? So this is really awkward. But a few people from high school have been sending this around and saying this is Bianca. Is this really her? Asterisk sends online posting from an escort service featuring Bianca under a different name Asterisk. Oh wow, they look a lot alike but I don't know. I don't want to say it's her or not. I don't know what she's been doing. I haven't heard from her since Mother's Day. Hey, I get it. I have three kids. And if their mom were doing something like this I wouldn't want to acknowledge it either. But I figured just in case it is her, you needed to know. So that son isn't around it. He's good. He's with me full time. But I appreciate you looking out for us. Okay. Well, I'm glad he's good. And it's a good thing he's so young because most of the town knows about it. It's practically viral. Hey, are you up? Where have you been? It's been weeks. You never showed up for Mother's Day and no one has heard from you. I've been busy, but did you see the article that was written up about me? That judge is trash, and I showed him. No, I haven't seen any article. I have seen your online posting as an escort though. Is that you? Or did someone use your picture? I'm not talking to you about that. I've been doing that to support my kids. You wouldn't understand. Your postings date back to after son came to live with me. Okay, what's your point? I have things I have to pay for. Did you read the article? They tried to convict me for a bunch of lies and said I stole a car when I took daughter. I used my mom's car and returned it, no big deal. But it was all thrown out. It says your hearing is rescheduled, not that it's thrown out. And it will get thrown out then too, no big deal. I didn't do anything wrong. My beautiful baby boy, I love you so much and I hope you are okay and thriving with your daddy. You are my entire world and I'm sorry I haven't shown it this past year. I have hurt you. I know. I have done damage to your little heart. I will never forget this and you may not either. But I hope you can forgive mommy and give me this one last chance. The day you first said you loved me was the day I realized how badly I had messed up over the last year. Mommy is making changes to get you and your sister back. 
and prove to your daddy that I am deserving of being your mommy. Daddy may have used this time to have mommy served with some not nice paperwork, but know that I am fighting it even while I am away, and I will never stop fighting for you and your sister. Not until we are all back together again. I love no man or boy more than I love you, and I will fight to the ends of the earth to get you back with me. I'm sorry for the hurt I've caused, but mommy is back now.